Okay, so I tried recording for like five minutes earlier, uh, and the game crashed. So I'm gonna try again. We ended up dropping to fourth place in the division, and everybody was like four games back. We ended up getting swept by that Cardinals in the series in the next month. So we're gonna try and see if we can get any bit closer. This might end up being the same trade offer. Oh, from the A's. Travis Buck. Fontenot isn't really doing anything, and you know what? Buck might be alright. I'll do that. Uh, let me actually just go to this one, two back. Yeesh. I'd hate to be swept in a four-game series by the Brewers. Okay. So it's only, it's essentially like a three-way tie for first place right now. How, how, how are we... Did we, like, lose to everybody? Oh my god. Lose five in a row. Yeah, perfect. Really want to put Buck on the on the big league roster, but I just don't know who I would... I guess Johnson. Johnson's not really doing anything. I would have liked to have that pinch runner option, but if you're going to be batting that terribly... Eric Ibar? <laughs> For CeCe and Shavik? Alright, if you, you say so. Well, three and a half back. Entering September, last month of the season. And we might have a chance. Not sure about the division, but I do want to check the playoff standings. Um, yeah, we're not going to get that wild card spot. We're like, we're, we're five back. We're further back from the wild card than we are the division, so... There's that. Actually, just look at everybody's record. Mets running away. This one is a five-man division race. And then the Pirates just chilling. Rockies off the back of Jack Cust. Yankees probably going to win 105 games. Nobody really close. Time kind of a tight race. And the A's, uh, the, yeah, the AL West is always terrible. Early on. It really doesn't get that much better. You can probably win the division with like 83 wins and as the angels are doing right now with a losing record we're gonna go ahead and skip to this cardinal series all right this is right now biggest game of the year and i'm actually gonna go ahead and have it play out playing against sheets but we're playing against sheets in a really bad condition unfortunately ryan braun and prince fielder are feeling in the pink today so very, very dangerous hitters. I believe we were two and a half back of the division. We have six more games to go against the Brewers. I think we have three against the Cardinals. And I want to say a four-game series against the Mets. Ricky Weeks homered first at bat of the year. Hopefully Duke can calm him down this time around. 20 home runs. I didn't realize he had that kind of pop. I always think about his, his brother, Jamiel Weeks, who played for the A's. Obviously, Ricky Weeks was a better player in his own right. Jamal was fun. Jamal had like one, he had a really good rookie year and just kind of disappeared after that one. I actually don't know if they were related. I, I, I know, I definitely thought they were, but I haven't checked. Because I remember when I was like very young, I thought Kurt Suzuki and Ichiro Suzuki were related because they had the same last name, but that's not true. Ryan Braun, 300, 30 home runs, 130 RBIs. Those are MVP numbers. Honestly, just pitch around him. Don't give him anything to hit. Yeah, that works. So we, we might have our, our top four in the lineup all have over 30 home runs, and then we still miss the playoffs for what I am can only assume at this point are bullpen reasons. Okay, that might actually... Is that going to score him? No, just don't get thrown out at first. Just your seven hitter with over a hundred RBIs, that's totally fine. Alright, well, one nothing. I wonder what the most amount of RBIs is uh, in a season by a pitcher. But like, no, oh, that's gonna tie the game. Uh, like a like a pitcher that 
you know, isn't Otani or somebody like Mike Hampton. Uh, no, actually, we'll, we'll count Mike Hampton if it is him. Cool. Awesome. Bed sheets. Base hit. There's few things worse than having the pitcher get a base hit, and that's having the pitcher get a base hit to lead off the inning. Oh my god. Is it gonna be two men on for Ryan Braun? I'm gonna scream. I wish I could just tell him to intentionally walk the- I mean... What do you do? This is terrifying. I can't do anything. I'm helpless. I just have to watch this play out. Dude, Zach Duke is actually a legend if he gets out of this without giving up a run. Give him a curveball, low and away. Nope, not a fastball. I lied. Do that fastball. <laughs> wow. I, I don't know. He, he's got dog. What can I say? He's got dog. That still weirds me out to see Jason Kendall in a Brewers uniform. That can't be real. He looked more natural in an A's uniform than a Brewers one. Well. It's gonna give him the lead back. I should stop, uh, trash talking. That, that might help. Now we just need to hope that Ben Sheets doesn't add to this again. There's no way you're already done. Come on! Dude, are we real? We are not getting beat by Ben Sheets. Okay, that one might be that one might be three. I don't know how fast Carosa is. Ah, it's only a double. Hey, lead off double, that works. Way to set the table for a, a 300 hitter. Okay. Oh man, is this a takeout Zach Duke situation? What kind of pinch hitters do we have? He's got. Why do you have D contact? Why does Zach Duke have higher contact than Henry Blanco? All right, you know what? Never mind. No, Zach Duke, you're playing this one out. I'm I'm unopposed to just taking a strikeout. I'm yeah, fine. There we go. Oh, snap, that might give us the lead. Okay. And now the lineup turns over. Sheets is getting a little bit woozy. Kosuke's up 2-0. Uh, you know what? That's the lead. That's the lead. I'll take it. Now we just need Zach Duke to hopefully go 6. As soon as he starts gasping for air, then I have to take him out. But if he's just wiping his forehead... That's fine. He's got some stamina in the tank. Oh, okay. Well. Mm. We're gonna have to put in Kevin Hart. One more strike. Nice. Okay, Kevin Hart. I was unfamiliar with your game. Alright, well, we got to the bullpen before they got an out in the fifth. Considering how Sheets was doing, that might not be the greatest thing. I don't know how good their bullpen is. Now I just need to rely on the bullpen uh, for the rest of this game. And I don't like when I'm forced to do that. Craig Council. Chicago Cubs manager. That's weird. Is that real? Did that actually happen? Or did I hallucinate that? Because it doesn't feel like it should be real. Whoa! Oh, no, it's another one of those. Dang it. I, I gotta stop. <laughs> I just, every time I see the camera go like that, I assume it's gonna be a moonshot. And, and, you know, it's two times now. One of them did not get close to the track. This one kinda got close. Alright. We're gonna do the exact same thing that got us in hot water last time. And we're gonna hope that this time it actually... It actually does work. We're gonna put an Ogajima to face Prince Fielder. And if Prince Fielder hits another home run... Um, uh, I will, I'll cry. Uh, I'm kind of quaking in my boots right now. I'm not gonna lie. 
want to pitch around him? Why does Okajima have a home run? That... Why does everybody have a home run? What's up with this game? Look at him. So harmless in the box. We make mistakes as we grow as humans. It's not about the mistake that's made, but whether or not we can learn from it. And if I'm forced to learn from using Ryan Dempster as an emergency closer in a tight division race, then it's just something we're all going to have to adapt to. Their, uh, their lefty submarine reliever has two home runs. Imagine being Craig Council, having two fewer home runs than a reliever. He's got day to RBIs. Clearly, he's getting plate appearances. Don't don't let Craig Council on base, dude. There. That's a huge win. It's gonna be a shame when uh, when I simulate a few games ahead and we drop back down to being four games behind. Um, we, we, we kind of just swept the Brewers. I kind of... It's kind of huge. In the absolute worst case scenario, we are one and a half games back of the wild card should we lose the division. I'm just going to let you guys know. We are in a... Potential three-team tie scenario. Uh, we're tied with the Reds. Somehow. If the Brewers beat us, they'll be tied with us. We beat the Brewers. I don't know if we win the division. I mean, we have the season series over the Reds, but... This right here? This might be the game that decides whether or not we make the playoffs. I, I, I'm kind of... I don't like that... We played three game. We simulated three games this season, and they were all against <coughs> Milwaukee. I do wish I could have brought you, you know, uh, and then Zach Duke for all of them as well. All right, that's just part of it. Um, but that's kind of just the way it went. This might end up being a really nightmarish start. That's foul. Wow. Okay. Dodged a bullet there. They played it way too. I don't know why they didn't tag up there. Alright, well, there's another quiet inning. Let's see if literally anything happens in this game. It's kind of a lot on the line. I wish there was more action, but... As long as we're not losing, I'll take it. I'll play this one out. Yeah, there's, there's nothing... <laughs> there's nothing happening here. It's a really high-stakes game, and it's been a complete snooze fest. I mean, hey, Zach Duke is doing really well. Halfway through our ball game now, still 0-0. Batting 284, how many at-bats is he getting? Uh-oh. Alright, finally, action. Riders in scoring position, the lineup turned over, there's two outs. Ricky Weeks. Maybe change up blown away? What are you doing here, fastball? That's gonna get... <clears throat> okay. Ring him up! Oh my goodness. Zach Duke. An acquisition. Now, please, can we get some offense? You're standing there in the plate, motionless. What? Is, what's Fosh? Is that like an abbreviation for something? Is it just Fosh Ball? Is it like fast over splitter hanger ball? What is it? What are we doing here? He's the best pitcher in the world. I've said it before. I'll say it again. He's a Hall of Famer. Put him in right now. Crossing my fingers, can we? He has an ERA of six, and he's only given up like two base runners the whole game. How are you gonna let him do this to you? Loudest piece of contact I've ever heard. Or are you stealing? Never mind. <laughs> Please, dude, don't. E I don't even care. Just. Get a base hit, please. You do not have to hit at 500 feet. Just, it's Alfonso Soriano in scoring position. Just 
bloop it over Ricky Weeks. That's all I'm asking, please. Dude! Come on! I don't like this. I don't like this. Come on, get him out of here. Come on, Dempster. If you didn't make me learn last time, you better not make me learn this time. Oh, that's terrible. That's, he's gonna beat that. Oh my goodness. Please, please, please. Yes! <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get how we have all these crazy players with like Oh, he's batting 300, he has 35 home runs, he has 100 RBIs, and we're getting shut down by Jeff Suppin! I ask you, what's the deal with that? None of this any given Sunday stuff. Look at that, back to back people batting 300. No, 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 okay. Alright. Alright, Soto. Don't blow it. You're... 11 strikeouts. <gasps> Anything. Yes! Nice hit! <laughs> oh my goodness. It actually happened. Dude, they were gonna build a statue outside of Jeff Suppin's house if he... carried Milwaukee to the playoffs. Kosuke, you gotta ring it out. No, oh, that was right down the middle! That was right down the middle. You're really gonna mess that one up, are you? Okay. If you, if you can get to Ryan Braun... Okay. Thank you, DeRosa. Please, no. Okay, O2. Do not blow this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. One run is not enough. What is... What exactly is going wrong? Massive. Oh my goodness. Okay, that uh, that changes the dynamic of this game a whole lot. Oh man, I'm gonna be really mad if the Reds win and somehow we don't make the playoffs because of it. There is no reason that should happen, but it's something I'm very afraid of. Uh, Prince Fielder, um, Erm. We still have Carrie Wood. Okajima mowing him down. Oh my goodness. If, uh, if we end up winning, I'm not going to celebrate too early because I'm, I'm unsure if we will have won the division. Ring him up. Get out of here. Pack him up in a lunchbox. Send him home. Yeah, Soto did great there. I feel like that should have been Zach Duke, player of the game, all the way. The Reds did win. I... Is what I'm... Okay, I'm... Are we gonna play a tiebreaker? Is that in this game? I don't know. What's happening? No! <laughs> Oh, it had to be that. It just had to be game 163. That seems like it's just as good a time as any to call it quits. Uh, the next video is either going to end up being game 163 and the off season, or game 163 and the NLDS. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the two Brewers games, the one Brewer game. I don't know. 
I don't know what made the cut. And uh, next time, Cincinnati. You all have a good day now.